It's the 24th of March, 2016, and it kind of felt good not to have to wake up at 4 a.m. I actually woke up around 7, naturally, without an alarm. Of course, today's the day I have to deal with the dreaded unemployment call. I really hope it works better than that website did. <laughs> oh, I just made up the show notes for Gig, and I'm reading the chapter for Gig. You know, I, I always usually read the chapter the day before. Makes sense. And when I say show notes, I should clarify not the what we talked about, because we haven't talked about it yet, so I can't do that part. But the template, the basic framework, I can get that done ahead of time. Reading the chapter is going to have to wait. See, you know that walk that I normally do on Fridays and Saturdays with my mother and grandmother? They do it every day of the week. I'm just not usually able to join them because work, but no work, so I can join them. Sweet. So the workout shirt is on, and I'm ready to go out and do this. Great morning to do this. Just listen to those birds. Ha, this is great. Back home. That was a dang good walk. The only thing about these walks is that they sometimes, or these layoffs, I suppose, is that sometimes they show me what I could do from home. Future goals, perhaps, but right now I'm the standard guy with a job instead of working from home, so. Although I have an email to send about that. But nothing I'm really sharing right now, because one, it would put pressure on someone, and two, that's the sort of thing that's not even really solid or possible, so. So now I'm going to grab my stuff, go down the hill, grab the phone, and try to sort this stuff out. Hopefully the office isn't at nine for Pete's sakes. So, good news on the unemployment thing. I got a call this morning while we were walking from the office. So I've got an agent that's going to help me out with this stuff, but I haven't gotten a hold of her yet. But I called her back and left a message, so now I've just got to keep an eye on the phone, and hopefully she'll call me, or I'll keep trying her various times throughout the day, too. Either way, it's probably going to be a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Thank God for that. So that's dealt with. Uh, apparently, I still have to do work searches, though, so they're not going to let me away with that, but that means i got to contact the Kentucky board for that. But until then, at least that part's taken care of and everything's fixed, so... Yeah, it was not as hard as I thought it'd be. I'll just use the phone from now on, probably. Obese human torsos. <laughs> so, clearly, so I must... Someone gets, the, someone gets the joke about leaving great reviews. Got surprised with some new shoes. So now, that's one thing on my need-to-do list that has just been crossed off. Very nice. You want to know the most ironic thing that can ever happen? Watching and then there were none. Them having a thunderstorm, the electricity flickering off, and then your actual electricity flickers off. The timing. So guys, I just got finished watching and then there were none. Oh my god, that was fantastic. As I said earlier, whenever I watched the first part, this is my favorite Agatha Christie novel that was ever made. So I had high expectations on this one. And those expectations were met. The, cl the cast was fantastic, the way they treated the story. I can't find anything wrong with it, except that you haven't seen it yet. See it! It's a two-episode miniseries, and each episode is two hours, which means it's four hours in total. Well worth the watch. So yeah, Lifetime's rendition of And Then There Were None. Watch it. Trust me, guys, you're not going to regret this. So now I'm back to my usual Thursday evening routine about to boot Twitch up and watch some stuff, but I forgot one thing. Where I was off today, I got really thrown. I didn't go to game night, because by the time I looked at the clock, I realized it was past game night. I totally blanked on it. This is the sort of crap that happens when I'm used to working and suddenly I'm not. Yeah, happens to all of us. Oh. If I have the schedule figured out correctly, tonight Chris Hardwick's going to be on Critical Role. Hardwick hype! Uh, the the, the Ravencross is pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You're between. Uh, yeah, good to be the best. Yeah, I'm not. There you go.